And most of the scopes that we carry are suitable for this environment, that is New England, where we have relatively short-range hunting and short-range target shooting. Uh, there are very few ranges in New England that are more than uh, two or three hundred yards. So we, we carry scopes that are, that are kind of according to the environment we have around here. Out west, you'd probably find uh, a, a big so bigger selection of scopes of higher power for longer distances. Looking at a typical rifle scope, in this case a, uh, a Bushnell Elite 3200, it consists of several parts. You have the the, uh, the rear of the scope where the adjustment for uh, vision correction is located. And you can see there's a plus and minus here so according to the prescription that you use in your eyeglasses you'll use this adjustment to uh, correct your vision. Uh, just forward of that is the power adjustment. In this particular scope is 1.5 to 4.5 and 1.5 means <clears throat> that the, the magnification of, of the scope at that setting would be one half the size of the uh, target you're looking at. Two power would be twice the size as normal of the, of the target you're looking at, and so on, three power, four power, and so on. In the front of the scope, we have the objective, uh, we have the bell and the bell of the scope determines to some extent the amount of light that can enter the scope uh, to uh, come through the scope and back to your eye. Uh, the larger the diameter, uh, the more light entry there will be, uh, but that's been somewhat modified over the years uh, by coatings, specialized coatings that are light gathering. So even though this particular scope doesn't have a very large objective lens, it still is, uh, it's a 32 millimeter. It still has fairly good light gathering capabilities. And the turret is, the, is where the scope adjustments are made. <clears throat> so once the scope is mounted on a rifle, it'll have to be calibrated so that the point of impact of the bullet is the same as the point of impact, so to speak, of the objective, of the uh, reticle router. The reticle is the crosshairs in the scope, and uh, there are various different styles of crosshairs or different styles of reticles, but uh, this particular one is, is the usual combination of thicker on the outside and thinner towards the center. Getting back to talking about scope power, as we said in this part of the country, uh, most hunting distances are, are relatively short. I would say that most deer for example, in New Hampshire, is shot within 50 yards. So having a scope with a lot of power just isn't necessary and, and in fact can, very, can be counterproductive. Um, the way it's counterproductive is if you have, let's say, a three or four or, or even more power scope and a deer were to uh, jump, up of a, uh, jump up in front of you with 20 feet away, when you raise your rifle up, all you'd see would be fur. You, wouldn't, you couldn't tell where in the deer you were. So it would be impossible to make a good, clean kill under those circumstances. And by the time you figure out what you're looking at, the deer's probably gonna be gone. Scope power tends to work against you in such, such a situation, such environment. Um, what we would recommend is looking at scopes in the 1.5 to 5 range or 2 to 7 range for this environment in, in New Hampshire. For target shooting, uh, here again, we don't have long distances, nothing more than usually two or three hundred yards. Um, in that case, uh, scopes up to about 10 power are appropriate. When you go beyond 10 power, uh, the magnification again begins to work against you, even from a bench rest, because at 10 power and above, you begin to see your heart beat in the, in the reticle jumping up and down as you're aiming very distracting and not at all conducive to good accuracy. So usually we recommend scopes in the uh, in no more than 10 power range for target shooting in this area. Some people like to use higher powers, some, there are some specialty applications uh, where that's appropriate, but in general terms, 10 power is kind of the tops around here. If you're out west, maybe shooting at a quarter of a mile with a 50 caliber BMG rifle, you might want more magnification. But here again, that's a specialized circumstance. So that gives you kind of a quick overview of, 
of what scopes are all about and what kind of scopes would make sense uh, to you and your application.